where you guys are coming from. Um, but from what Vishnu has told me, we have participants from all over the world. So greetings to you all. Um, I want to start, you know, basically uh, by introducing our law school. I don't know if you guys, uh, how much you know about IE Law School or IE in general. Um, but IE is one of the top, we're recognized especially for our business school, uh, which offers some of the best business programs in the world. We're ranked uh, top year after year. But our law school is also ranked uh, amongst the best. It's always a business school that takes the lead. But uh, you know, I wanted to come and introduce the several programs that we have. Um, first of all, you know, we've been uh, law school is over 40 years of experience. We're located in the heart of Madrid. Don't know if any of you actually have ever been to Madrid, but I must say that not because it's my own city, but it really is one of the most wonderful cities in the world. And it's one of the main attractions, one of the main points that has students coming to study in Madrid. It's not just the school, but also the city. It's vibrant, it's full of energy, the people are great, the food is wonderful, and the weather is also great. So um, it's definitely one of the the key um, things that get people to come into IE. Um, and we're very lucky because our campus is actually located in the heart of the city. So while you're studying, you also get to experience everything that, that Madrid has to offer. In addition to that, uh, we have a global community. Uh, one of IE's main, main uh, recognitions is the fact that it has an extremely international uh, alumni and students. We have over 80 nationalities in our campus. Uh, and literally people from all over the world. When you walk up and down through our buildings, you hear all sorts of languages, ethnicities, nationalities, and it's our diversity that really sets us apart from, from other universities. So it's something that no matter where you're coming from, um, there's going to be a place for you at IE. Then our alumni are also spread all over the world, clearly. We have over 50,000 alumni that honestly come from all sorts of industries. You know, we have people not only from law in this case, but because of the business school, and we also have our human science and technology school, we have people from all sorts of industry, architecture, engineers, we have people from finance, people that come from international relations, so it really is a very global and very diverse community. As I mentioned before, IE has always been ranked among the best schools in the world, not only in business, but also our law school. Uh, this year, uh, we have been ranked top law schools not only in Spain, Europe, but also globally uh, by very prestigious publications such as The Economist and Financial Times. So coming in here, you're going to be part of an extremely uh, well-recognized school and we offer our LLMs are also recognized amongst the top in the world. Now these are the main values that we share um, at IE. Uh, mainly, you know, we are really, as I mentioned, recognize for entrepreneurial mindset, because our business school was the, the school that was first founded, it really is the entrepreneurial mindset that we try to impart in every single one of our, of our masters, not just at the business school, but also at law um, and your human science and technology school as well. Excellence, of course, evidently, um, we thrive on academic excellence, and this comes not only from the admissions process, in which we have a very rigorous process to make sure that we always have the best students with the best profiles. Uh, and then also our teachers, uh, our academic professors are recognized again worldwide um, as professors and then many of them are also practitioners, so they are top men, businessmen or lawyers within their industries. Innovation is also one of our values. We're always seeking how to innovate, how to stay up with technology, and because of that we include in all of our masters um, a technology module that will also help you um, stay up to date with the latest technologies and in terms of innovation because obviously in today's world and at the pace that technology is moving, it's extremely important to, to stay up. Um, we also have business fundamental, as we mentioned, because of the strength of our business school, we'd like to include this uh, horizontally to our other masters. So no matter what masters you're doing at IE, you're always going to get that business background. We do it through modules, through electives, but always making sure that we include business and we make sure to not just give you um, an education in terms of law, but that you also get to have those business fundamentals. International network, again, 80% of our students are international. We have over 80 nationalities. It does vary depending on the masters, um, but it's an extremely diverse and global community that we have hired at E. So the international network is something that you're going to acquire no matter what. Technology, again, goes in line with what I mentioned um, about innovation and then humanities. 
with law, it's something that it's, it's evidently more obvious, but we do also include a lot of humanity courses throughout to give you a more global perspective, not just purely law. And then the practical methodology. This is something that really sets IE apart from other schools in the sense that we use the case method. It's not just you come in, you hear a professor lecture for an hour. No. There's a lot of interaction between the professors and the students, especially in law. We have a lot of practical cases. Most of our professors are actually working in law firms in Spain, so they come in and they bring you real cases from the real world and solve them in class with you. So really, your practical methodology is something that is hugely, hugely attractive to our students and that helps them also when they graduate, they really feel like they've learned and they're able to go into the world and solve all their problems. Okay, now I wanted to go more into our specialized areas for our LLM. Um, so the LLMs that I'm going to be presenting to you today, we have more, but those are in Spanish. These are the LLMs that we have in English. Um, first one is the LLM in International Business Law. Then I will go into our Master in Global Corporate Compliance, which is the new Masters that we have this year, along with our Master in Global Taxation, and also our Executive LLM. Okay, the first one that I want to discuss with you guys is our LLM in International Business. Now, this LLM uh, is designed especially for lawyers, um, solely for lawyers, excuse me, um, and it really prepares students to manage um, to manage transactions with an international business approach, right? It gives you international experience, um, and it really does tap on worldwide exchanges, legal venture clinics, and we also have, again, as I mentioned, the practical case methodology, which we apply to large companies, international law firms, organizations, government, public sector, and so on. So it really does give the students the opportunity to exceed legal boundaries and outstand um, in the global system. The master is a uh, full-time uh, here in Madrid, and it goes for 10 months. It starts in October, and it is taught uh, in English. Um, in terms of the students that we have coming into the class, it's normally law graduates and young professionals. Our average age, as you can see here, is 27 years. Um, and the work experience, on average, is two years, but again, the range goes from two to eight years. It really is, as I mentioned, very diverse. Much like, um, much like most of everything that happens in IE is very diverse. Um, then the good thing about this master's is that despite the fact that it's taught in Madrid, we also give you guys the chance to have an international experience. And so we include in the master's a week in London in which students can go there. They visit the headquarters of prestigious law firms uh, and in-house apartments. And then also you can do the same in Brussels, which as you know is where most Europeans politics is done. They say that there's more politics being done in Brussels than in Washington DC, in fact. So it's also a very good chance to go to Brussels and visit some of the institutions and the main, the main law firms that operate in Brussels. There's also the Vienna Mood Court, which this is a challenge that we do within the class. And the winner gets to go to Vienna and compete in the Will and see this International Commercial Arbitration Mood Court. Um, so it really is a very exciting opportunity. Again, as I mentioned, you can see these are the nationalities uh, from our latest class. We have French, Japanese, American, Greek, Portuguese, Peruvian, Italian, Colombian, Spaniard, Bulgarian, and Turkish. It goes on said that it is truly a very, very international program, not just on the way it's taught, but also from the students. And this is something that we really take great pride in, i.e. that you're not only learning from the professors from the classes, but you're learning from your own classmates. You know, what better way to learn from another country and from someone who is actually from there. So it's a very, very enriching experience. We have 55% men, 45% women, um, and you know it truly is a great opportunity for you guys to be able to get this global approach but for international business. Um, and really, you know, take it's especially meant for those people that want to take another line, like a more international approach to their career. You will be able to learn from Spanish law, but not just solely. You're going to be looking at Chinese law, at German law, you're going to be looking at Latin American law. So it really does give you that very international approach to, to international law, evidently um, applied to business. If you're wondering where do most people go after finishing this program, well, again, it's very varied, but it's mostly they go into associates for LP analyst, corporate finance uh, for associates, junior associates, in-house lawyer, or a manager for corporate legal area. So if you want to take that chance, this is the one for you. Now, let 
we go into our global corporate compliance. Now, as I mentioned, this is one of our latest masters. Uh, it's the first intake will be now taking place in October. Um, I'm very excited. The reason why we have decided to start on this master's is because reputation is evidently one of the most important things um, for companies right now. I'm pretty sure you're all very well aware of what has been happening to Pepsi and to United Airlines. So you know, as we have here in our quote from Warren Buffet, it takes 20 years to build reputation and five minutes to ruin it. Compliance is increasingly becoming the hot topic for most companies everywhere. And the reason why we offer this master's is because more and more so companies have the necessity to have a compliance officer, but there's no real education about compliance. And so what this master does, it's not only targeted towards lawyers, but it can also be people, it can be for people that are coming from other backgrounds such as business, audit, human resources, um, but that really want to make that jump into compliance. Uh, the average age of, of candidates that we've been getting is from 22 to 32. You don't need to have a professional experience. Again, the range goes from people that have recently graduated all the way to those that have had 10 years of experience even. Once again, um, the, the, it's very international. We have people from all sorts of nationalities, Asia, Middle East, North America, Europe, Latin America. So we stay in line with uh, with a very diverse uh, alumni that we have. Um, in terms of what the class offers, it's a very it's a 360 approach. You're not just going to be looking at compliance thing, but you tap into compliance across all different industries. That's the very just thing. You're going to see compliance in pharma, compliance in government, compliance in business. So it gives you it's a very holistic approach in which you'll get to tap on different. And again, very much like with the international business law LLM, it will take approach for globally. So it's not your, like you're only going to be able to be a compliance officer in Spain. You can be coming from Mexico, you do your master's in Madrid, and then you go to work in Singapore, for instance. So we really do prepare students to be able to get that global approach. Uh, our international students, I mentioned, 75% uh, mostly. Now, again, compliance is the new hot topic. The reason why we've done this is because of that need that the markets and companies have been telling us. They even, you know, we speak to other companies and they say, listen, we need people more and more trained in compliance. So if you want to make that jump into compliance, it's definitely a great opportunity and 100% you will be getting a job in this sense because everyone's asking for it nowadays. Now moving on to our global taxation. Um, this is also one of our new masters. And as um, you, Benjamin Franklin says, there are only two two things that are sure in life, it's death and taxes. Um, with the way the world is so globalized today, it's no longer about being a tax lawyer in one country, but because of the so many different interaction, um, transact, international transactions that are happening nowadays in business, you need to know taxes from a global perspective. And this is precisely what we do. We have, um, again, this is much like the, the Masters in Corporate Compliance, you do not need to be a lawyer. Um, to do this master's, we have accountants, business administrators, related degrees. Uh, the range in age, much uh, like compliance, it's from 22 to 32. And we have this one, I think 71% of our student of the candidates come from other countries outside of Spain. Um, full time, uh, also in Madrid, 10 months. Now, um, I forgot to mention, but this is also applies to our corporate compliance, is the NYU week. What both of these programs offer is that you guys will get the chance to go to New York and study at the NYU campus in Manhattan for one week. In a sense, you will be at NYU taking classes from NYU and with NYU professors. By the end of this course, you will have an NYU certificate um, in addition to the LLM or MSL, depending if you are, if you're not a lawyer, from I Law School, and then our MBA certificate from IE Business School. We have an MBA module in both this one and the, um, in all of our masters because, as we mentioned, IE thrives very much on this business culture and educating people um, for business. It's evidently something that goes horizontally to all sorts of, of industries. So you get the MBA certificate. It's not an MBA, as we always say, but you will be receiving classes uh, with professors from IE Business School and courses from the same school. And this will give you a chance to further develop your, your knowledge in business administration. Um, in the global taxation, now this one, you know, what we when we tap more 
on it's basically international tax legal framework. We also work on international tax planning and multinational um, individuals. Uh, we work on anti-avoidance. We see international consultancy and ethics um, and the most relevant industries. Again, we also have a law and technology module, which will help you develop soft skills um, and different experiences. By the way, if you guys have any questions, please feel free to, to stop me at any time. If not, at the end, I will also give you the chance to, to ask more questions. Okay, and now we move on to our executive LLM. Now, this one is not full-time. Uh, this is our executive LLM as master's that can be done by those of you who are working and don't want to leave your job, but still want to further pursue your studies in law. What's also very special about this LLM is that we do it in, in combined with Northwestern Pritzker School, which is one of the top uh, law schools also in the world. So you will be getting an LLM from I Business, from I Law School, and an LLM from Northwestern. In addition, again, to the MBA certificate, like in all of our other masters. It is a blended format, and so you have three face-to-face -face periods. The first two are in Madrid, and the third one is in Chicago. Now, whenever you're doing face-to-face, it's done online. Uh, and this also gives you the opportunity to do the last semester in Chicago if you want to. The executive LLM, in this case, it is required that you have at least three years of professional experience in law. Um, mostly what we have is 10 years, that's our average, but again, it ranges from four to 19. The average age is 33, but again, we've had very young people all the way from, from 26. Um, they take it September, November, or April, and again, as you can see, the nationalities, it is very, very um, diverse. What we do have here um, is a lower number of women, so ladies, make sure that you sign up to this so we can bump up uh, our percentage, but again, still equal. We have 35 to 65% in this case, and it really gives uh, a great opportunity for those of you that do not want to, to stop your job, even if it's for a year, so you can combine both working and our executive LLM. We've been doing it for years. It's a great success, and people do really enjoy the fact that it's, it's also done with Northwestern. What you see in this program is a lot of Anglo-American Anglo law, so it is designed for lawyers who are not from the United States. Um, but again, Anglo-American law apply uh, for international tax actions. As you can see in all four masters that I have explained, there are a few things that are common, and it's the diversity of the class, and it's also the fact that we have a strong focus on business, and that you get to get a global perspective of law. We always say that it's something that if you, it doesn't matter where you're coming from, where you want to go, this master's is designed for you. It's for those of you that want to have a career change, not exactly where geographically, and it really gives you a chance to, to further pursue your studies. Okay. Uh, this I mentioned is uh, the program content for for the Northwestern uh, IE Executive LLM. Okay, now in more general terms, uh, I'll speak to you in terms of financial aid. We do understand that masters are always a strong uh, investment for people, so at IE we're strongly committed to supporting women, talent, leadership, diversity, and entrepreneurship, and so we have several different scholarships and programs that are offered to different profiles. We do offer up to 40% uh, in financial aid, and you can apply for three scholarships at once during your admissions process. We also have uh, agreements with banks in order to offer loans and to help you um, in that sense, because we understand many of you not only have to come and pay for the master's, but also move all the way to Madrid, which can be an additional cost. So in this sense, um, it is a very competitive process, but we have a lot of options for financial aid, so don't let that stop you. Uh, if you need any more orientation, obviously we're here to help you in any way we can. We understand that it's a process that you have to think about, but please do know that here at ID, we are available for anything you might need. You can talk either with the RICS to me or the other associate directors of admissions or advisors. We're all here to solve any doubt, no matter what it is. Uh, we'd be really willing to help you. Um, so if you're willing to start your LLM, we hope that it will be here in Madrid. Uh, as I said, just to recap, not only is Madrid a wonderful city to live in, but you'll also be coming to an extremely prestigious school, uh, such as I Law School. You will be included in a very diverse and international community uh, with over 50,000 alumni spread across the world, um, always devoted to excellence and innovation. So we hope that this will be the perfect fit for you, and we'll be really glad to take you. 
So anything you might need, uh, my email is the last one, but you can email any of us and we'll be more than happy to solve any of your doubts and guide you in this process to coming to IE. So thank you very much. Um, I don't know if any of you guys have any questions. Um, as Vishnu mentioned, you have the chat, so please feel free to ask any questions, any doubt, and if there's something that wasn't completely clear, so let me know whatever you need. Thank you very much, Paula, for this presentation. So to the listeners, if you do have any questions, just please type it into the chat box and we can ask Paula the questions. So anything relating to the admissions process or anything at all, we can uh, we can uh, uh, we we can uh, ask Paula. Uh, so Paula, there is a question that uh, has come in from uh, Radhika Sharma. Uh, so, uh, what is the procedure to get admitted to IE? That is what she asks. Uh, so, what will be the procedure to get it get admitted in IE? That is the question. So, I presume what she means is uh, if. Uh, if uh, you know, is is it the marks which you uh, which you take into consideration? Is there any other exams? Like what exactly it is? Now can you hear me? Okay, now yeah, yeah, yeah I, I can. Heard, hear sorry, me. I turned my mic. Okay, so our admissions process is very holistic, as we like to say as well. There are several uh, steps that you have to take. First of all, you have to fill out our online application, right, which asks you several questions regarding your back, your academic background, um, professional experience, if you have any, and then a few other questions about yourself as a person to describe yourself. Then there's three essays that you have to do. We give you 10 questions to choose from, and you have to answer three of those essays. In addition to that, you need to send us your transcript and two letters of recommendation. Now, once all of this has been submitted, um, you also have to take an exam, whether it can be a GMAT or we also have um, our own exam, which is called the IEGAT, Global Admissions Test. You can take that one, you know, I don't know where you guys are coming from, but we do it in different cities um, across the world. So there's, you don't have to come to Madrid to take that exam. If you have your GMAT, then you submit that as well. Once all of, oh, and your English, excuse me, yes. Um, you need to, if you're not a Native American, Native American or British, um, you need to provide um, a proof of English. So in this case, if it's a TOEFL, we ask for a 100, for IELTS 7.5, and Cambridge certificate, we ask for at least a C1. Once all this has been submitted and it's been approved by our admissions test, of our admissions committee, you go into the interview. You might have either one or two interviews um, that go for about an hour and we review your application, we go through different steps with you, put you in, in different scenarios. Um, and then after that, again, it's sent to the committee, and you will get the final decision. I hope that was clear. I don't know if you have any other questions regarding that process. Uh, if it is clear, you can just uh, type it in uh, over here. Uh, so in the meantime, when uh, in, in the meantime, there is a, 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 a clarification based on what uh, you have uh, been, uh, what we have, what you have discussed right now. So uh, the the uh, the law that is going to be explained, so it's, if it is international law, mm -hmm. which country's law is going to be, uh, uh, you know, of focus over here because there is two systems. There is the common law and the... Mm -hmm. I could hear, yes. You were asking, I, it was cutting up a bit, but I think I got most of your question was whether it was going to be the common law or the civil law system, right? That is correct, yes indeed. Okay. yes, indeed. So you see, it depends on the program, but as I mentioned, you see a little bit of everything. It's not just going to be Spanish law. That's the key thing about this master's is that we're not just training people to be lawyers or compliance officers in Spain. You're being trained so you can work anywhere in the world. For instance, with our executive LLM, which is the one that we do um, with Northwestern, you see a lot of Anglo-American, but you also see a lot of international law. In our international business law, you see some Spanish law, but you're also going to be seeing Chinese law, Latin American law. So it's not just one or the other. You see both systems, and we try to give you the most complete and global perspective we can based in law. Okay. Uh, thank you, Paula. And one other thing is, like, what about the class size? Uh, so uh, mm -hmm. you said that generally there is uh, it, it, it's over some 200 uh, people for the program, if I'm not honest. No, no, our classes but are... what about the individual class size? No, yes, our class size, those are for, for our MBAs, they are over 400 students, but for our LLMs, 
the class size varies. It goes from 20 to 30 students, depending on, on the intake. If we have over 40 students, then we'll split it up into classes. But a class will never have more than, than 30, 32 students. In terms of the uh, in terms of the living uh, expenses, mm -hmm. because usually the Ameri American law schools, uh, you know, give a, a breakdown of uh, what would be the tuition and what is the living expenses. If that mm -hmm. is the case, like uh, what would uh, uh, what do you what would you say is the is the tuition fee for the LLM at IE, and what is the breakdown of a of a living cost per month in in IE? Okay, so our LLMs it depend they go around thirty thousand euros. A year. I did forget to to mention this. Excuse me. Uh, but the price is yes, around thirty thousand euros each one of them. Uh, and then in addition to that, I would say in Madrid, the cost of living between apartment, food, and everything about a thousand euros a month. Depends also on each person and how much you guys like to go out, where you want to live. But I would say around one thousand euros a month would be good to cover food, living, transport, cell phone, and so on. Uh, common law countries from India, from Nigeria were listening in. Yes. So uh, w w w one of the person from Nigeria uh, is asked. He's asking. He's uh, he's uh, uh, he has like uh, several years of experience, seven years of experience. So uh, okay. will uh, will that? And he is been a practicing lawyer as well. And uh, does he still need to take the English language test? Um, in this case, um, we do require, because unless it's someone from a native speaking country, um, it is most likely. Though, if you can like prove experience, I'm sorry, where was he, has he been working in? He is he from been... Lagos, Nigeria. So, if he has been so working... So, I'll just copy the question. Mm -hmm. I'll just copy and paste the question over here so uh, you can see. Uh, so he's been working in Nigeria, and uh, he has uh, also uh, did did his undergraduate uh, degree in uh, in uh, English. So uh, you know he just wants to uh, wants to know whether he still need, is required to take the TOEFL or the IELTS. Okay, so he's okay. So he had his law degree was taught in English. Seven years law practice in Nigeria, also in English language. Um, in this case, no, because if he did learn an English language, it would be fine. We would still always, we check um, during our interview, we do check the level of English. So in that sense, you know, once our, whoever the admissions advisor is that is doing the interview, they will check uh, to see the English. But if you have, um, if the law course was taught in English in university, then that should be fine. The updated tuition and fees, I wanted to check because we just changed them this year, so I didn't want to give you guys last year's. Okay, uh, for the international business law, the price is 29,500 euros, and then you have to make a 1,200 um, 1, euro tax deductible contribution to IE Foundation, which applies to all our masters. And then our master in global corporate compliance is also 33,000 euros plus the 1,200. Um, our master's in global taxation is also 33,000 plus 1,200 for the foundation, and the executive LLM with Northwestern is 38,500 euros plus 1,200 for the I Foundation. And uh, uh, this is this is the Jewish fees, right? So the uh, yes. the cost of living would, uh, like you said earlier, it, it would vary between uh, uh, like uh, on an average maybe like a, a thousand euros to two thousand euros yes. per month? I think, yeah, a thousand euros a month, uh, more or less. Again, it depends on where you want to live, if you should have a problem, if you live by yourself, uh, and so on, but you know, one thousand euros is the average that we estimate for students. Okay, and uh, there is another question uh, which, uh, uh, w w based on the graph that you have uh, uh, you have shared earlier. So in the graph, it is mostly uh, European countries. So uh, the question is like, is it uh, is it uh, uh, beneficial and uh, you know useful for people from uh, different jurisdictions like India or Africa? Absolutely. I mean, if you see that now, it's because I think. Mainly, what the reason we have more students from Europe is in terms of visa for them. It's just a lot easier to come. Uh, but I can tell you, I mean, if you walk in, especially 
um, if you see the Masters in International Relations or even our MBA. For our MBA, most of the students are international. For the LLM, I think it's also because people at first are a little bit scared and they think that, oh, you know, I have to do an LLM in my region because that's law and to learn the law. But again, we have students from all different nationalities. Uh, for the Masters and especially the one in Global Taxation, we're getting a lot of applicants from Asia and Middle East. So, I mean, it's, it's something that we, we open to everyone and there's no difference in terms of for nationalities. Uh, th there is one question which just came up mm -hmm. uh, by uh, Rajesh. Mm -hmm. He just asked like, what is the total fee of executive LLM for a person having 10 years experience and how has this course helped an Indian lawyer in employment? So I'll just, I think uh, he's, he's, uh, uh, he's from India, so uh, mm -hmm. this is the question that he has asked. Like, Okay, for the tuition, um, it would be a total of including the the donation to um, to I Foundation. It would be thirty nine thousand seven hundred euros. So that's the total um, for the tuition. Again, as I mentioned, we have a very strong financial aid department, very competitive, but it's also something that you can apply to if you would be interested. In terms of employment, our students go to all sorts of industries, especially in these masters that are so international. They don't just stay in Spain, but all people maybe want to go back to their own countries and study and practice law there again, or they want to move into, into Britain. We have a very strong um, professional careers department that helps all of our students in finding uh, the job that they want to in the different industries. So in that sense, we have specialized sections within career, our careers department that if you want to go work for international law firm or a local law firm, or you want to go into a big corporation, they do help you and guide you in that process. Okay. Uh, thank you, Paula. So uh, there is also one other question uh, over here. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, it, it's again from uh, from Adi Adebola. Uh, he has asked like he needs clarification with regard to the scholarship. So that means like a person can apply up to three scholarship. Is that what you mean? Uh, that that's the question. Yes. Sir. So you can apply up to three, but you will only be receiving one from IE in the sense that because we offer over 40 types of scholarships, it also depends, some are very specialized, some are solely for women, some are solely for women coming from the Middle East, some are solely for people that have over 10 years of experience, and so you have to navigate through the different options that we have in financial aid, and then from there you can apply to up to three, and if anything you'll be granted one only. You can also apply on the side because we have the scholarship program, and then uh, the loans program, so you can apply for a loan and you will get up to 40% uh, for a scholarship. Right. So you, you, speak, you, you told about the lo loans program, so mm -hmm. is the loans available even to international students? That you will have to check because many times, we know, I know it's very easy for those who are European because of the European Union and the free flow of capital there, but with international students, you will have to check because evidently you need to open an account uh, in Spain. We know some banks are more lenient than others, but if you check in our webpage for the loans, it will give you the different ones that, that we work with. And I believe there are some international banks, um, not just solely banks here in Spain, that also offer the loans. I think, is there any more questions that you can definitely ask uh, right now? Uh, you can just type it out into the chat box so we can ask her. Uh, so there is one question with regard to internships. So uh, during okay. the course, is it uh, possible to get an internship? That is what the, the question is. Like, can we get the internship while doing the course? Um, it's not well, I mean, like part time want, or something of that. No, the thing is that the, because the programs are full time, it really is. You know, you have classes in the morning and and some in the afternoon as well, and then in between you're always working with your groups or having to do something. Mm -hmm. so it, these are full-time programs except for the executive LLM. In that case, yes, because it is a blended program uh, and allows, but it's people that are already working. But with their other masters, they are full-time uh, and it's, I mean, I, can't, I don't want to say impossible, but it is very, very difficult to be able to, to do both. 
Uh, and is it, uh, there is another question, can we apply right after the LLB, like right after the undergraduate, uh, 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 mm -hmm. uh, right after the undergraduate law program, or is there some kind of experience that is uh, required? Uh, it, it asked so, by Radhika itself, so you just, she has asked like, is there any kind of experience needed. Mm -hmm. So the only one that requires experience is the executive LLM. Uh, for the other ones, for our international business law, our corporate compliance and global taxation, there is no requirement for, for professional experience. You can come right after you graduate from your Bachelor of Laws. Thank you, Paula. And you also mentioned about a, a GMAT being taken. Is that a mandatory requirement for an LLM program, a GMAT or a yes. some similar test to be taken? Yes. So you can take either the GMAT or uh, the IE Global Admissions Test, which we call the IGAP. Um, you have to take either or, but it is mandatory in order to, to get into school. We need you to take one or the other, yes. So is, is the, uh, you told about GMAT and uh, the university's specific exam, right? There is yes, a specific so exam, I right? I, 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 is, that, is that a more for an MBA perspective or is it uh, even with a legal reasoning and all those questions as well? No, even, this is, this is an exam that we have for all of our schools, for the business school, for the law school, for the human science and technology, and for our international relations school. It's not just for MBAs. Um, it gives its logical reasoning, its analytics, uh, but again, you don't have to be an engineer or an economist in order to be able to do it. It's adapted so that it's global for everyone. Thank you so much, Paula. I, I don't think there are any further questions. So, uh, okay, yeah, there is uh, uh, there's another question as well. So it, it's it's like uh, uh, the the procedure for getting a, and uh, you know the management program. So I, I, is it possible for a person who is doing an LLM to do an MBA as well? And uh, do they have to do a separate application for that? No. Okay. So in this case, this is what we call our dual degrees. And yes, you can combine our MBA or our Master in Management with the International Business Law, for example, right? So in this case, what you do is that you would come in, it's one application process. So what you do is that you start doing your MBA, for instance, let's say you want to do the MBA with the International Business Law. So you start doing the MBA, which is separated into three periods, right? And so you do the first two periods of the MBA, and then the third period of the MBA, which is the elective, that is when you would start your International Business Law. And so you sort of take the third part of the, uh, of the MBA out of the equation, and then you put in the international business law, and you do that one completely. So yeah, we do have our dual degrees that we can combine with the MBAs, with the master management, uh, with the international relations master as well, with, um, with our LLMs. Thank you, Paula. Thank you for this. Uh, so Thank I think you. that's it with the questions. Uh, if you would like, uh, thank you so much for joining us today and uh, for taking us through the uh, through the admissions process. So if you would like to add something, we uh, if you if you'd like to add something, please do go ahead. And uh, thank you so much for taking the time out, and it's been very informative. No, well, first of all, thank you guys uh, for giving us the opportunity to present uh, our master's program, and thank you guys for your interest. Again, as I mentioned, if you have any further questions, do not hesitate to, to email us. Go into our webpage. You have all the information there regarding the programs, the fees, financial aid, admissions process, even our, our entrance exam. Um, any doubt you might have, please don't hesitate to ask. We're here to help you guys. Uh, and yeah, we'll be very happy to have you. Uh, come and join Madrid, join our law school, and get to, to see our program. So thank you all very much. Uh, and I hope to see you soon. Thank you, Paula. Thank you. Thank you. Bye.